Let's look at an example. A proton moving perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field. A proton is moving in a circular orbit of radius 14 cm in a uniform 0.35 Tesla magnetic field perpendicular to the velocity of the proton. Find the speed of the proton. Now we know that a proton has a charge uh, plus E, which is 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs. The radius of the circular orbit is 14 centimeters. There's a uniform magnetic field, 0.35 Tesla, which is perpendicular to the velocity. So we want to know the speed of the proton. The centripetal force, Fc, is equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration, which is mass times v square over r, the radius of the orbit, and that's equal to the magnetic force qvb sine 90, which is 1. So the velocities will cancel here, and we will be left with the speed v is equal to qbr divided by m, the mass of the proton. So if I plug in the numbers, what do I find for the speed? Let's do that. Uh, the charge of the proton is 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs. The magnetic field is 0 0.35 Tesla. The radius is 14 centimeters, 14 times 10 to minus 2 meters. The mass of the proton is 1.67, 10 to minus 27 kilograms. And we find the speed to be 4.7 times 10 to 6 meters per second since we have used SI units. Now, if this were an electron moving with the same speed, what would happen to the radius of the circular orbit? Now, the radius is, uh, as you can see here, the radius is mv divided by qb. So it is mv divided by qb. So with the mass of the electron being 9.11, 10 to minus 31 kilograms, that's the mass, rest mass of the electron. The mass of the proton was 10 to minus 27. So with the mass decreasing, we see that the radius would be smaller. So if we perform exactly the same experiment, with an electron moving with the same speed, you can see that the radius would be smaller because the mass of the electron is small compared to the mass of the proton. So in this example, we have considered a proton moving perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field. First, we have written the centripetal force mass times centripetal acceleration v square over r is equal to qvb for uniform circular motion where the centripetal force is the magnetic force and it's qvb because sine 90 is 1 it's perpendicular to the velocity we find the v is qb r over m if we substitute for the charge of the proton plus the electron charge 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs and for the mass of the proton, 1.67 10 to minus 27 kilograms, we reach our answer 4.7 10 to 6 meters per second. If we replace this proton with an electron, it would have the same charge with a negative sign, so the sense of rotation would change. However, what else would change? The radius would change because the mass of the electron is much less than the mass of the proton, so the radius would be smaller.